what's good internet it's Tunji again from scissor graphics welcome to my channel this tutorial is specially designed for designers that want to create an eye-catchy church poster using 3d type so we're going to be using three different applications to achieve this tutorial we're going to be using illustrator we're going to be using cinema 4d to create a 3d type and we are going to do the final color grading with photoshop now what made this tutorial more interesting is the effect of the sun on the 3d text i'm sure you're going to enjoy this tutorial and if you need the exercise file simply make use of the link in the description section of this video so sit back relax and keep watching in the exercise file you're going to find a cinema 4d project and illustrator project all right so we are going to do the designing of the text here with illustrator before we now take this to cinema 4d all right so but what i did here is i only played with the letter t here all right so if you want to achieve the same style all right the same way i played with the letter t here so once you type your text so for those of you that care to know the character that i use here is called play fair all right so you can also get the link to download this uh, font in the description section of this video so in order for us to be able to uh, edit this text because we're going to be using the direct selection to, to do this so if i try to edit it now you see we can't do it um in, in order for us to be able to edit the text you ne we need to go to type here and select create outline and now we have all these points that give us the opportunity to uh distort the text and just play with it like this and that's what i did here all right so yeah so the frame size of this project here is 1000 by 1000 so if you're planning to use the cinema 4d project that you have in the exercise file for your other um, design or 3d project make sure your illustrator frame size is 1000 by 1000 all right make sure it's 1000 by 1000 the way i have it here and make sure you have uh, you click on the create button and now I have my, my text already designed here. So I'm going to make this a format that Illustrator can easily read. So I'm going to hit Ctrl Shift and S, or you can simply go to File and select Save As here. And now I already have a save here, but um, I'm going to save it again. So I'm going to select the um, already saved file, or you can give it a name, all right, if you care to. And I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to click on the Save button here, and I'm going to say Yes. And then I am going to change the version here to Illustrator 8. This is very important. All right. And hit the OK button. All right. Now let's go straight to Cinema 4D and import our Illustrator project. So I'm going to go to File here and select Merge. And I am going to locate the Illustrator file. This is it here. All right. And I am going to select the Open option here. And I'm not going to do anything here. I'm only going to select OK. All right. Now, this is the Illustrator file here. Now, this part here is very important. All right. Make sure that you make your Illustrator project this bold. All right. You have to make it this bold. Why? Because I already set the, uh, the extrude for this project. So in order to make the extrude work well, all right, make sure your outline, all right, is this bold. All right. I mean, your Illustrator project is bold. All right, now I'm going to click on this now and I'm going to shift select the part one, hold on shift and select the part 22 here. And I'm going to drag this and drop here to take it out from the group. So I'm going to select this and hit delete. So I'm going to shift select everything again and right click and select connect objects plus delete. All right, so we have everything now on one layer. All right, now. What you just need to do now is to drag this and drop in here. Bam. And you're good. All right. So you can use any title to achieve this. You can type. You can make use of any title. Just make sure you follow my steps in this tutorial. All right. Now, I already said everything for you. So what you just need to do is to go to your setting uh, button here. And um, you, don't need to adjust, you don't need to change the width and height. I already have that set for you. The only part you need to change is this. So make sure on that your um, file here, click on this button here to um, launch this, uh, the save file window and um, give your project a name. 
all right give it a name so i'm just going to call this title all right and i'm going to select save all right then i am going to check alpha channel check straight alpha and check separate alpha all right so i'm going to show you guys this why we decided to uh, check all this option here all right now i am going to click on the close option here so uh please remember to move your uh, 3d extrude to uh this position all right because we have it previously here all right so make sure you move it here like that all right make sure it's right at this um position make sure you have it on this um, position here the, the reason i'm asking to position it here is because if i hit the render button here here this um effect of this light here is what i want us to achieve so if your um title is not on that position you won't be able to get something as um, um as beautiful as this all right so make sure you have your title on that um your 3d title on that um, position all right okay so yeah we already select the render button and everything is set now so i'm going to click on the close option uh, button here and i am going to go straight to photoshop and my frame size here is 1000 by 1000 so if i go to image here and select image size now you can see that i'm still on the 1000 by 1000 frame here so i'm going to click on cancel for those of you that don't know how to create a new uh, document simply go to file and select new and then you have your frame set to 1000 height is going to be 1000 resolution is going to be 72. all right now the reason why you're using 72 is because um this project is not something we're going to print it's, it's a project that i plan to post on social media which is instagram so i'm using instagram um, um box size all right the box frame all right so your color mode should be on rgb since it's not for print and remember to click on the create button when you're done with your frame setup all right so i'm going to click on close because i already have my frame set up here all right, so I'm going to go straight to the exercise file and drag my background in here like that. And I'm going to just position that somewhere here. And let's drag our title and drop. All right, so I am going to go to where I have my title. Or I'm going to drag that and drop here. And I'm also going to drag the separate alpha. I'm going to drag that and drop here like so. Now I'll go straight to the channel tab here. If you can't find the channel tab, simply go to Windows and click on channels here and you're going to have it on your photoshop um, screen all right so yeah i'm going to hold on control and click on the thumbnail of the blue channel immediately i see the hand with the marquee box all right so i'm going to click now to create a marquee of the title now the reason why we were able to get this option here is because of the uh the alpha option that we checked in cinema 4d all right, so I'm going to hide this. I'm going to select the 3D um, title layer and I'm going to hit Ctrl J. Now let's take this to uh, project. So I'm going to drag that and drop right here and place it here. Now I'm going to right click and convert this to a smart object. And I'm going to activate the free transform and I'm going to scale this down. All right, so this should be here. All right, let's just make this, um, this bold. I need to share this simple tip with you guys. Now, the reason why there's unity on this project here with our title is because uh, before applying the color to the light in cinema 4d i first check the color all right I, I first look at the color of the sun on the project all right so i was able to do that by going to this uh to the color picker here and pick a color from here all right so i just move it just you know add more yellow to it and i copy the color code all right so i just copy it this way all right and then i go straight to cinema 4d so i'm going to quickly share my screen with you guys now so you guess what i'm saying this is the material that we applied to the shell of our, our extrude so if i turn off the camera now and i zoom in so i'm using the mouse wheel to zoom in now you'll notice that the shell of our object here is the color from this material and that's the material here so i assigned this material to the shell by hitting s here on the selection um, bar here now if i double click here now and i go on that color now if i go under the color code here this is where you're going to paste the, co the code that you copied from photoshop so when you paste the code here 
you see the effect of the uh the color here so i'm saying this for those of you that want to use this um project for other uh project and you want to achieve the color from maybe your background on the shell of your extrude all right so for you to be able to change the color of the shell simply double click on the material go on that color make sure you are on the hexadecimal option here and the code you copied from photoshop just paste it here and you're going to have the same color from your photoshop project all right so let's go back to photoshop and continue the project all right so here we are now in um, photoshop and i'm going to hide this for now and, and i'm going to select the object selection to here and i'm going to draw a shape here like so now i'm going to make the um title visible that's the 3d title so just call it title all right and i am going to add a layer mask to this so i'm going to hold on alt and click on the layer mask icon here to cut the selected area from the title all right so yeah this is looking the way i actually want it to look uh i'm having an issue with this side here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the brush tool all right and i'll go under my brush setting here make sure i'm on the hard brush here i'm going to turn this off so i'm going to reduce my brush size like that and i'm going to zoom in make sure you're on the layer mask of the um the title here and i'm going to switch to white and then i'm going to just gently um take this out from here like that or you know what let's just turn on transfer all right all right so uh, for those of you that don't have a graphics tablet all right um make sure your flow here is set to eight and you're still going to achieve the same move but for those of you with graphics tablet if your transfer is checked make sure, oh, remember to check your to change your control option here to pen pressure all right now the reason why we're doing this is because we want to be able to control the strength of our brush all right so i'm just going to apply this here then what i'm going to do now is um i need to move the title to to this side a bit so i'm going to break the chain connecting the uh the layer max to the title because i don't want to move the layer mask i don't want to move the title the 3d title so i'm just going to move this excuse me i need to be on the thumbnail of the title so i'm going to move this a bit to this side like that and i'm going to click on the chain again to to connect the layer mask and the title layer all right so yeah, I'm gonna go straight to filter and go to um, sharpen here and activate on sharp mask. Now the reason why I'm doing this is to add depth to the 3D title, all right, to keep it more uh, making making it look real. All right, so I'm gonna select the OK button now, and next is to add our sun effect. So I'm gonna drag this first and drop here, and I'm gonna scale this down and position this here, and I'm gonna right, I'm gonna start, go to the blend mode option here and select screen. All right, you see, we're beginning to see the sun effect on our title. So in order to make this more stronger, so I'm gonna drag this and drop here, and I'm gonna make the same move again by going to screen here and just position this here and drag this, just scale it down, all right? Uh, make this a bit bigger. All right, so I'm going to activate curve on this and I'm going to click on the clip icon because I only want this to affect the glow layer. So I'm going to just move this down like that to, you know, to give it that sun effect color. All right, so this should be here like that. Now, this is beautiful. All right, so we need to take this to camera and do the color grading. So I'm going to go hold down Ctrl Shift Alt and E to stamp visible the project. And I'm going to right click on the layer and say convert to smart object. Now I'll go to filter now and I'm going to select um, camera filter here. All right. So we'll go on the basic now and I'm going to um, go to the temperature option here and add yellow to the project like that. And for the exposure, I'm just going to reduce that. Just reduce it a bit. All right. Because I don't want the project to be too, to look too bright. All right. For contrast. Yeah. So I'm going to just increase the contrast so as to, you know, to make the darker parts of the uh, project more darker and the brighter part more, you know, brighter. All right. So highlight, I need to just push that down a bit. All right. Like that. And for the shadow, I'm going to increase the shadow because I already want the, you know, the darker part to be more uh, stronger like that. And for the white. All right. So I'm going to increase the white. All right. Because I'm going to be adding 
you know the other content all right to uh this side of the project so i want that area to be more brighter so people can see whatever i add to the lighter part of my project all right so for the black i'm going to reduce the black because i really want this to be you know to um, I really want depth on the project, so I want this side of my project to look more darker, all right? So I'm going to leave that like that, and I'm going to add texture to this because we're dealing with, um, you know, uh, uh, um, plants here, all right? This is a plant field here, so we need to add that texture on the project. So I'm going to just add texture to, to the project like that. And um, for my vibrance, I'm going to just increase that. All right. I'm going to increase vibrance like that because I want to add more color to the mid tone of the project. All right. So let's go to details here. I'm going to just increase more. I'm going to add more sharpening to the project. All right. Now I'm adding the sharpening because I really want the texture to be more stronger. All right. I don't want to add depth. I really want to add depth to the texture. And that's why I'm, I'm applying sharpening to the project. So I'll go back to curve here, right? Because um, you know, the curve is one of the ways I add depth to the project by making the shadow pop and making the highlight also uh, pop like that. All right. Then um, for the effect here, I'm gonna add grain. All right. I'm gonna add grain. All right. To the project. So the idea of adding the grain is, you know, adding noise to the project to us to make the texture more pop. All right, so I'm going to select the OK button, and this is what we have. So let's say the before and after. This is the after, and this is the before. So I think I prefer the after. All right, so let's start adding the other uh, details to the project. So I'm going to copy the dates now, and I'm going to paste that here. All right, and I'm going to change the color of my text to black. All right, and I'm going to activate the free transform and make this big. So the font I'm using here, the character I'm using today here is uh, Mostrat. All right, because Mostrat and Playfair are two characters that work well. All right, there are two characters that when you combine them on your project, it makes your project pop. All right, so I want my project to be my uh, contents, my elements to be well aligned. So I am going to move this here. All right, and this should come right here like that. Yeah, this is beautiful. So for the venue, I'm going to copy the venue now. And then I'm going to make a copy of this and this should come right here. And I'm going to paste that here like that. All right, so this is going to be medium and I'm going to make this smaller like that. And Uh, yeah, so if you want to understand my style on how I achieve successful layout, I would advise you watch my design review videos. All right, you can check my channel and you're going to see my design review videos. If you watch the videos, I believe it's going to help you with knowing how to achieve good design layout because I always share tips on how to achieve successful designs. All right, so um, when you watch it, it will help you. All right, so I have the social media here, so I'm going to just move that here. And that should be somewhere here, like that. So that should be here. So I'm, I need to change the color of the time. So I'll make that red, like that. And boom. So if you like this project, give it a thumbs up. And if you learn anything from this tutorial, kindly drop a message in the comment section or if there's anything you want me to know kindly drop it in the comment section of this video and if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and also remember to check the post notification bell so you get notified when i post my tutorials and guys share this with other creatives let them also learn how to achieve good design um with cinema 4d illustrator and photoshop all right, so thank you all once again, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.